Hello, it's Ali. Welcome to the part 16 of my 3D printed 8 scale Toyota Supra. In today's video, we're gonna be 3D printing a 2JZ engine and put it over there because in the last video, we converted it from nitro engine to brushless motor. So I found a pretty good model on Cults 3D and I had to text the guy to get his permission so I can edit the file and fit my 8 scale Toyota Supra. So here's the file. I had to redesign the whole front because it was having some problems and in some areas it has two walls instead of one. So I had to redesign the whole front and I wanted to make individually and then the pulleys separately so I can paint them bolted on. All the files are separated and it will be very easy for painting. Alright, here are all the files resin 3D printed and they are ready for painting. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Think about PCBWay as all-in-one platform for CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. If you are working on a custom design like me and you want to have highest 3D print quality, this is the way to go. You just have to upload the STL file here, choose the material, and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCBWay is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video.
All right, we are done. The engine sitting flush and very nice. There is no touching with the hose or any part of the engine with the body. But I did some adjustment. For example, the cover, I put some small magnets so you can put it and sticks over there. And I also put two magnets here and two magnets for the hood. And it works like a latch mechanism, but it will be temporary. I will make another latch. This is a temporary, but I will design a latch that you will push, lock itself, and then you will push again and it will release itself. Someone suggested that in the comment section below. It was a great idea and I will think about it, how to do something like this. But for now, everything works good. Even the cooler, there's no touching. And the weight of the car, it's pretty accurate now and it's all balanced. I also redesigned the hinges for the door because that was the old one and it was all flexible because it was thin here but I made this one and also has label left and right with this part but with this part not gonna be a problem you can replace them but this part now you can't replace them because it has upside and downside so I made a label left and right. So I was looking at the back of the car and always feels like something missing here. So I remember that we don't have any diffuser here. So I designed it and 3D printed a diffuser that will be bolted on these two bolts that will be mounted with the rear bumper. Now we're gonna put it on. 